Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so now we know what vector artwork is. And we also know that it's infinitely scalable without fear of degradation. And that's because it's based on mathematical vectors rather than pixels. But what about those raster images, those JPEGs, those PNGs? After all, that's probably 95% of what's imported into our online designer. And that's because that's mostly what's available out there. You see, here's what happens. Vector-based artwork has to be created in an illustration program such as Adobe Illustrator. But then, once it's created, the graphic artist will normally export several versions of that image, including one or more raster-based images, such as a JPEG or a PNG. And once it's in that form, it is much more easily displayed on a computer, on a phone, on a tablet, or on any other electronic device. And so it's the raster-based version of this image that ends up getting used, shared, passed around, placed in websites, downloaded, resized, etc., etc. So what ends up happening then is people come in contact with this once pristine image, which is now of insufficient resolution to print. And not realizing this, they intend to include it in their banner design. Now folks, actually raster-based versions of what was originally vector artwork will print just fine, provided they have sufficient resolution. And that's what this lesson is really all about. Ensuring that the only raster images you use are ones of sufficient resolution to print. Oh, and don't worry, any photograph that you've taken with a digital camera will have adequate resolution to print, provided that image wasn't scaled down by somebody or automatically scaled down in an email program. But anyway, no matter what you're importing, no matter what type of raster-based image you're importing into our online designer, we've included software, actually we've developed software, to keep you safe. And what it does is on the fly it measures the resolution as you resize the image and it gives you a warning when you're getting too low. So this, this lesson is really a little bit academic. As long as you follow the clues inside the online designer, you'll be safe. And now let's proceed with a demo, exactly what I'm talking about. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator and here's my logo. It's a vector-based logo. You can see those are the vectors right there. And what I've already done is I've gone to the file menu and I've exported where's export? Here it is. I've exported two versions of this, two raster-based versions of a PNG, Portable Network Graphic. Okay, so those are raster-based images. I've exported them already and let me show them to you right here. Let me go to my desktop and here they are. Here's the low res version. Let me roll over it and you can see the actual pixel dimensions folks are 361 pixels wide by 165 pixels high. And by the way if you didn't know on a Windows machine, I don't know how it works on a Mac, but on a Windows machine if you have an image all you have to do is roll over it and you'll get a readout of the pixel dimensions and uh, that's really useful. Anything that's in the low hundreds if you're going to import it into the online designer it's probably going to be trouble. All right. Here's the high-res version, and you can see this one is 1,656 pixels by 756. That's a lot of pixels. That's going to work out just fine. All right. Let me open up my online designer, and I'm going to import both of those images. Now, before I do so, I want to point out that every image that we import, every raster-based image, excuse me, that we import into the online designer, we import at 50 pixels per inch. We set it up that way for a reason because anything at 50 pixels per inch is going to print just fine. All right, let me show you. I'm going to imprint the, Im, import the low res version first and here it comes. There it is and there it is at 50 pixels per inch. And you can see it's pretty small. You know, it's going to print fine the way it is right now but most people are going to grab it and resize it. And when they do that, they're going to decrease the resolution. You see right here, here's the resolution readout I was telling you about. Before we included this, every day I would get several images that were of inadequate resolution to print. Because without that, people unwittingly come in, import something, and scale it up to the size they want. Well, now with this tool, you can see this is at 13 pixels per inch now and it's given you a warning saying 
caution, this is too low of resolution to print. So, in other words, get rid of that one and get a better one. And, and sometimes that's a little bit challenging, I know, because it's all you got. And you want to include it. And some people get frustrated and they just have to. And they have to live with it. And, and I've seen it still happens. The, the classic one is golf tournaments. Sponsored golf tournaments where people have to include, you know, 18 logos from different sponsors into their designs. And there's no way they're going to get all of them in a high-res version. And so we end up with some looking good and some looking not so good. And it happens. <laughs> and I have to chuckle at it sometimes. Okay, let me import the high-res version. It's the same logo. Both of them exported from that vector-based original version. But the high-res version, I when I exported it, I told Adobe Illustrator, include a whole bunch of pixels in this because I want it to print good. So let's import it. It's coming in again at 50 pixels per inch. But you can see at 50 pixels per inch, this image is going to take up 33 inches in width and 15 inches in height. All right. Someone's probably going to actually want to scale this down. And if you scale it down, you're going to actually increase the resolution. All right. So I think that should clear things up. Let me give you a, let me give you an idea though about the limits. The way we have it set up is, like I said, to import at 50 pixels per inch. A little tough to get it right at 50 pixels per inch. Okay, so there we are at 50 pixels per inch. And now, if you scale it up, there's a gray area between 50 and 25. We use 25 as our point of warning. Okay, what that means is anything below 25, danger, danger. Between 25 and 50, you're probably going to be okay. Above 50, you're definitely going to be okay. So between 25 and 50 is a gray area. All right. In that gray area, I would be concerned not with any any large fat part of the image like down here, but maybe up here where there's some fine detail, up here, these, the checkerboard in this rocket, that's probably not going to print so well. So just a heads up. But when you stand back, when you're looking at a banner and you stand back, those checkerboards, you know, you don't really have to discern every little checker in the checkerboard and uh, you'll be fine. Just rotated that by accident. Let me undo that. Where's the undo button? Where's the undo button? Here it is. All right. So there you have it, folks. Now you should know everything by now about using our online designer and how to get quality artwork. That's, this is the best designer on the web. It's got tools that other people don't have and you can do so much with it. You can just... Uh, you can make anything you want, really. It's just the only thing better is is going with professional software like Adobe Photoshop and building the whole thing from scratch in something like Photoshop or Illustrator. Okay, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have fun with it. Bye-bye.